Hello, it is me and my tea again. And I am very, very excited because my fairy loot box has just arrived and I am super excited to get into this box because it is going to be another battle of the boxes. Um, so I know what the book inside this box is. It was the same as an Owl Crate version. So we are going to see who did it better and who just makes you go, hmm, you could have done better. Alrighty, so without any more further ado, with our trusty pocket knife, let's get into it, shall we? So if you're unfamiliar with Fairy Loot, it's kind of like the UK version of Owl Crate. Every month you get a brand new book and some fun bookish themed items. And we're going to open it up. Do, do, do. You get to see in it first. And I believe the theme for this month was powerful artifacts or ancient artifacts. Which one is it? It is Artifacts of Power. There we go. So here is our little spoiler card. Very cool. I love the ambiance of it. I'm just going to, where should I put it? Put it right here? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so first thing I see are some packing peanuts. So I'm just going to toss over there and then I will find them strewn throughout the entire house because um, Mr. Rory and all the other kitties love to get into the paper wormies and the packing peanuts. So the first thing that I see <gasps> is the item inspired by Howl's Moving Castle. I am so excited. Ooh, it is a tea light holder. Oh, I am so excited for this. <gasps> what is it? Okay, so we have some assembly required, it looks like. Ooh, is it one of those wheelie, wheelie spinny thingies? Zippity doodah days? Okay, uh, okay, yes, it is. So, some assembly required. So, one moment, please. Okay, I just put it together. It is the cutest thing ever. Um, okay, I'm gonna get going. So there's how it would look. And then I'm gonna stop them so you can see the little designs. We have a tiny little calcifer and the shooting star. It is amazing because, you know, calcifer is a very powerful fire demon. And oh my gosh, that is adorable. I almost... Like, some night I'm going to have to, um, get all my little, what do you, what do we call those? Candle, luminary, whirlycopter, doodad thingies. And I'm going to get them all going at once, and I think it's going to be so cute. Okay, next. Ooh, okay, so we have more bookends. I think this is the third set of bookends from Fairy Loot that I've gotten in just a short amount of time that I have subscribed to them. Luckily, this one is not um, Miss Roman numeral like Gideon the 11th, when it was supposed to be Gideon the 9th was. Um, they still never said anything about that, which I find interesting because it is Gideon the 9th and is obviously Gideon the 11th because they misstamped it. But anyway, so we have some bookends inspired by Legendborn. So if you're unfamiliar with Legendborn, I have read that one. That one's very good. It is based on a, kind of like a retelling of Arthurian legend. So those are cool. These are very nice and heavy, although I'm kind of getting bookended out because it seems like everyone is doing bookends this year. Bookends and notebooks. Not being salty or anything or complaining. I'm just saying I'm seeing a lot of the same things happening in book boxes. Next, ooh, we have... A lovely box. Absolutely gorgeous. Oop, one moment, please. Okay, there we go. I was having a bit of a tricky time with the box, but the box is absolutely gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of something really, really fancy. Oh, and it's even packaged fancy. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, what do we have here? Um, what I am seeing is absolutely stunning. And it very well might get used as a background because... Look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. So we have a satin scarf. <gasps> Should I? Should I just put this up right now? You get to be the first to see. <gasps> is it gorgeous? It looks gorgeous from my end. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. <gasps> yep. One moment, geez. I'm going to pause you again, and this is going right back there. Okay, there it is. What do we think? 
I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am loving it. It is so fantastic. Okay, so I'm going to set the box aside for now. Or, I don't know, maybe right there? No, nah, I'm just going to set it aside. Okay, so next item I see in our box is our little tarot card set. And judging from the background, I'm fairly certain that this must be inspired by Fourth Wing. So if you are a Fourth Wing fan, let me know if I am correct. And um, Fourth Wing fans, should I read that book? I Or the series, I should say. Um, it's very, very popular. So um, just wondering, is it something worth my time? Let me know in the comments down below, please. Okay, next we have our book. I feel like... Are we missing something? One, two, th two, three. Two. I feel like we're missing something. Um, tea light holder, scarf. Oh, okay. So I think I think I remember an email saying that one of the items was missing, and it was going to be in January's box. And if you weren't getting January's box, it was going to be sipped, shipped separately. But it is a packing cube um, with. A design inspired by an ember in the ashes. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so uh, I guess we'll look forward to seeing that packing cube in January next year. All right, so next up is our little goodies in the box in the bag. So we have our little bookmark that matches the theme art. These are really fun. We have our letter from the author, which is really nice. It's like a little bonus piece of artwork. So I'll just set that right there. And then I'll set this aside for later, but it is time for our book. And there's going to be the comparison. Okay, let's see who did it better. So up first we have Fairy Loot. Ooh. Okay. So here we have kind of pinky salmony top, pinky salmony bottom, and then we have beautiful is it digitally or stenciled? Um, maybe stenciled edges? I don't know. Um, absolutely gorgeous cover. It is What the River Knows, which we know was November's um Owl Crate book. So, ooh, here we have our end pages. That is very interesting. <gasps> very magical. Okay, are they different on the other side? Nope, we're the same on both sides. Oh no. Looks like it tore right here at the base. Ugh. Okay. Um ooh, okay. Wow. So the naked Okay, the reverse side, it's okay, it's just reversible, that's jacket, art, um, it kind of goes with the letter from the author, that's kind of fun, it would be neat to frame it, I wouldn't switch around and change sides for the book. Now the naked book, though, is really gorgeous, so here's the naked book, really, really pretty, I'm loving the cream and the design on it, it is stunning. And are we a digital signature again? Yes, it is another digital signature. And here we have the map and the timeline of Egypt and the prologue. Um, if I remember right, what does it say? This book is an immersive historical fantasy set in Egypt and filled with adventure, a rival to lover's romance and a dangerous race. Um, so, yeah, it's also, it begins, I think, in maybe Brazil, and then we end up in Egypt, so I'm really excited for that. Now, let us compare it with Owl Crates. For one, I don't know what it is. This is so much heavier. Like, I wish I had a pair of scales just to show you how different it is. This one, it's, like, really light. This one, it's, like, like, it's, like... Maybe, maybe they'll make a different noise. Ready? Yeah, you can hear the difference. So, light. <laughs> Ready? Heavy. Okay, so here is what the um, Owl Crate Edition looks like. Beautiful ends. Here is the 
all three sides have designs on it, which is really nice. Um, end pages have character art. I, I'll say it again. It reminds me of like Jungle Cruise or the African Queen. Um, and then the back side is something different. Then the dust jacket art looks like this. A very, very different style. We have like we're inside a tomb. And then here is the naked um, hardback of the book. So comment down below. Do we like Fairy Loots edition? Or do we like... Owl crates. Comment down below who's your favorite or should I just have it be a community post? I don't know. Yeah, comment down below who is your favorite? Team Fairy Loot or Team Owl Crate? I know just for the weight it is fantastic. Oh, and it also has a um, sewn in um, bookmark ribbon, so that is really nice. Uh, I don't know. Um, I know I'm probably going to keep both because I think they're both equally stunning. I will say I think I like the Fairy Loots um, dust jacket better. Comment down below, uh, UK people, is this different than your edition or is it like totally different or just like a color change? Because I'd really like to know. Wow, that is everything. Um, I will say I wish I used my um, inner eye ball that I got from Magic Deliver to figure out where I put my Owl Crate edition because I was literally looking everywhere and wait yeah okay so I just shook it and it says uh go to the library I should have just looked on the bookshelf because it was just sitting right back there I literally tore the house apart trying to find that book because I wanted to compare them oh my goodness drama okay so Wait, where'd it go? I am all fush muddled. Okay, so here we have our fairy scoop. So we have the interview with the author and then some other books that are coming out. And then next month's theme is Regency and Scandal. And I'm certain that the book is the same as Owl Crates is, so we're going to have another book comparison time because a lot of you said in the comments of the Owl Crate video to um, just get both. So I am going to do that and we're going to have another battle of the books and see who did it better. And yeah, and also before we leave, I'm just going to say I am doing a giveaway. So if you are interested in checking out my giveaway, the information is down below. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below who did it better, Fairy Loot or Owl Crate. That being said, thank you so much for watching everybody. If you're interested in checking out another video, you can go ahead and click right here. And if you're new, welcome to my channel and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss my videos ever again. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!